Um, do you know what the transit method is? Uh, hopefully I will soon. It's a good place to, uh, start. All right, um, let's pretend that this is a star. Now this is a transit. It's anything that passes in front of the star, in this case a planet, that dims the light that we receive from the star. This is the light dimming while the transiting object passes in front of the star. So we measure the brightness over time so that we can determine the different qualities of that planet, you know, the size, even temperature, just by analyzing curves of light. Okay? Okay. All right, so. Go. Oh, find the transit. That's a new planet. What? Mm hmm That is amazing. It's incredible, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you are gonna be finding the dips. I will be vetting the data. And then how are we gonna know which planets have life? Well, we're the only planet that we know capable of sustaining life, so we're the best reference point for it. We use this light data to find other planets that are as similar as possible to Earth in mass and temperature. It's an oversimplification, but we find another Earth. We can find life. Now, next year, the James Webb Space Telescope is going to launch, and we need our planet candidate to be the first follow-up observation. All right. Good. These are M dwarf stars, smaller, dimmer than our own. Now, TESS mainly focuses on brighter, bigger stars like ours, but that means one transit roughly every 365 days. Now, these M dwarf stars Planets orbit them in a matter of weeks. So less waiting around. Exactly. So if we focus on these stars, we have an edge over everyone else looking through this data. That's it. That's one. So is that going to be we a planet? Really? Yeah, we got one. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Why the rush? The James Webb Telescope will follow up on planets discovered by TESS. Now, if we're the first ones with a perfect candidate, we have a chance to be a part of something yes. huge. You mean when we find out we're not alone? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There. Is that a planet? No. You see that sharp drop? It's probably nothing. Keep looking. <laughs>